The cooling system in your car is composed of several parts. Two components are involved in the process of controlling coolant temperature, a thermostat and a water pump that pushes coolant to the motor. The radiator's function is to lower the coolant's temperature after it exits the engine. A cap that is necessary to keep the system's pressure at the proper level sits atop the radiator. The boiling and freezing points of the coolant can fluctuate significantly if pressure is released. The cooling system is a continuous loop formed by these main components. A network of hoses transports coolant to the engine, where it dissipates some of the heat. Trouble can arise from a variety of defects that allow fluid to leak out or air bubbles to enter. If bubbles are seen in the coolant reservoir, what does that mean? In this short video, we're going to be talking about nine causes of this issue. No issue at all. Many times people who have heard terrifying tales of a blown head gasket causing bubbles in the coolant reservoir become overly concerned when they notice them. However, you probably don't need to worry if you top off the coolant system and see a few bubbles but no other cooling problems, such as overheating. But if your coolant system is overflowing or overheating and you see a lot of bubbles, there's probably a problem with the system. Blown head gasket. A blown head gasket, on the other hand, is something nobody wants to deal with. The system's air pressure may be forced out when a head gasket blows, which lowers the coolant's boiling point. The engine will overheat as a result of the coolant overheating. If neglected, the engine may sustain irreversible damage. Because the engine overheated initially, the head gasket may blow occasionally. For this reason, you should always pull over as soon as the motor temperature reaches dangerous levels. You can see bubbles in the coolant or oil if the head gasket is blown. Coolant may also be visible in the oil, depending on the location of the gasket failure. Coolant leak. In addition to coolant leaking out of the system, coolant leaks can also let air into the system. Coolant leaks most frequently occur from damaged hoses or gaskets. Numerous hoses make up the cooling system, and they must all stay sealed. A hose that is too old may break easily from damage. Any tiny crack or hole in a hose has the potential to cause disaster, so it needs to be fixed right away. This hose allows coolant to leak out, which not only lowers the level but also increases the risk of engine overheating. The only way to fix this issue is to replace the hose. Malfunctioning water pump. To move the coolant through the pipes and hoses, a water pump is required. So that the coolant reaches every part of the system, it must be operational. The engine may overheat if the coolant cannot circulate due to damage to the water pump. Naturally, this circumstance alone may cause coolant to bubble. Furthermore, if the water pump is broken, air may become trapped inside of it. Air will continue to circulate through the system if the pump is not changed. Rust and contamination. Metal is used to make the radiator in cars. No matter how well you take care of your car, it will eventually rust. However, if you don't take care of it, the rusting will accelerate. It's crucial to clean the radiator frequently because of this. Debris can cause the radiator to become clogged, which could have avoided damage. Additionally, you must confirm that the system contains the appropriate amount of coolant. Heat is not properly dispersed by the coolant when the radiator deteriorates or becomes clogged. Boiling coolant within the system causes bubbles to form in the tank. The possibility of an overheated engine, which could result in irreversible engine damage, is associated with this boiling coolant. Broken pressure cap. A special cap that fits the radiator perfectly keeps the system pressurized. To guarantee that the system maintains the ideal level of pressure, the cap is required. Air can enter the system improperly if this cap is broken or damaged. There may be some bubbles that appear close to the pressure cap. If the coolant's temperature cannot be fully lowered, overheating may also happen. Fortunately, changing the cap is all that is required to solve this issue, making it one of the simplest. Air pockets. The system may develop air pockets right after a coolant flush. Air can become trapped when coolant is added, which could cause a circulation backup in the motor. Bubbles in the radiator will indicate that air is trapped there. Overheating of the engine is another possibility. Bleeding the cooling system of air is possible, but this is a task best left to the experts. Broken thermostat. The thermostat manages the quantity of coolant that enters and exits the engine. Depending on the coolant's temperature, it has to open and close at specific times. Bubbles in the coolant may indicate that the system has begun to overheat due to a malfunctioning thermostat. The cost of parts and labor for replacing a thermostat ranges from $150 to $400. Defective heater control valve. For the passenger compartment to get warm, the hot coolant must pass through the vehicle's heater control valve. The engine produces hot coolant, which the climate control system can use to warm you up on a chilly day. It's a practical method of redirecting heat to its intended use. Air can seep into the system if the heater valve is malfunctioning, which could lead to the formation of air bubbles. Additionally, it may lead to an overheated engine. The fact that the cabin won't receive the necessary heat, leaving occupants chilly in the dead of winter, makes this issue 
issue even worse. Your engine may overheat if the air bubbles are the result of leaky head gaskets or air pockets. You should definitely get an overheated engine fixed as soon as possible, because it can lead to very costly repair costs.